for the month of November and I will be using this Marigold Tarot deck which is so beautiful and I got it from a Kickstarter it's illustrated by Amrit Brar and um, they just really put a lot of work into this deck and it really shows um, Gemini is a mutable air sign, rules the house of communication, and is governed by Mercury's energy. A very, very mercurial house indeed. Communication and duality and kind of shift it mutability, shifting. Oh yeah, you think so, huh? Okay. So, first we have the Ace of Rings and its inverse. So this could be the start of a financial drain on you. Maybe you're taking out a loan um, let's see where this is going. We have the Ten of Wands. Oh, that's definitely a loan because Ten of Wands is carrying a burden. Um, but let's see. I'm sure it's for something good, right? Alright. In the past position, we have the page of wands. This is a fire energy and it's a very swift kind of naive sort of a energy. Um, very, very fiery. And this could be a younger fire sign too. Could be uh, like a Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. Um, and then the current position we have, this is the King of Swords in verse, um, and King of Swords is, it's air energy, um, and it's very much no-nonsense sort of air energy, but He's inverse here. This could be you. This could be you in trouble and needing to take out this loan. Really get that this is a loan for a lot of people. And then what do we have here? We have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups wanders in the swamp. Um, he's very much like Artax in the Swamp of Sorrow. Um, but mostly emotion, and he just looks very sad here. Um, and it's, it's a very like immature kind of an energy. It could be a water sign, but it could be that this is the direction that you personally are headed. And in the goal or destiny position we have the Empress in verse. And the Empress is a strong feminine energy, but here she's giving up her power to other people. Let's see what else we have going on for you guys this month. Just be very careful. Any loan that you take, read all the fine print. Um, don't get a loan just because you need money. Obviously, if you need money, sometimes that's the only thing you can do. But 
don't just willy-nilly sign any paperwork. Um, shop around. You're allowed to shop around. The banks will try to screw you over. For sure. Corporations do not have your best interest at heart. Um, if you can get a loan from friends, sometimes that's better, sometimes that's worse. Almost for you, Gemini, it might be worse because of your mercurial nature and the way that you interact with other people and expect them to be as flexible as you. So, uh, this is how you are putting yourself out into the world. And that is as the Knight of Rings. So it looks like you're throwing your money around. <laughs> you're just throwing your money around. You don't need this loan. What else is going on? This is how other people perceive you. This is a disaster. This is how people see you. They don't see you as being flashy. They see you as, as being headed for disaster. That's not very good for an ASMR video. But it doesn't do me any good to lie to you. You can lie to yourself, but you're only hurting yourself. It sees right through it. This is your hopes and fears. Um, you're afraid that there will be injustice done to you. And maybe that's why you're hiding behind this front of money, of power, power that can be bought. And I also see over here this empress being, all her power being taken away, being very much like this justice card. And then we have in the outcome position. And I don't think I'll be drawing any clarifiers for this reading. I think it's pretty straightforward. We have the Five of Cups, which is a certain amount of loss. Um, there's still enough for you. You don't need to take out this loan. You don't need to flash your cash. You'll be better off if you don't do that. You'll be better off if you just stick with what you have and regroup and move forward. So, um, maybe you feel like you really need to take out a loan. But I see here in the past, maybe you have a history of being a little flighty but this energy here, I know that you feel like you're responsible during this time. But this is how everybody else is seeing you. This is how you see yourself, maybe. But the fact that this card is inverse and everyone else is perceiving you as headed for disaster. Just be very careful. Be very very careful, Gemini, especially because Venus is in retrograde, and as soon as Venus gets out of retrograde, your ruling planet, Mercury, will be in retrograde again, I know, that's kind of the astrology joke, is that Mercury is always in retrograde, but take care, and I'll see you sometime very soon could be next month, could be before then, we'll see.